Greetings once again. When we move forward, we, we move to external parasites. We, we are done with internal parasites. The three that we have discussed, I hope they, they will assist you to score marks in the exam, if ever one of the cycle of the li their life cycle is there. Now let's take it further and look at the external parasite, which we sometimes call them ectoparasites. In this case, what is crucial here, the, the first thing we must be able to define the term external parasites. Uh, if I recall very well, I defined the term before I started this section whereby I was making differ a difference between internal and external parasite. I hope you still recall. Then we must be able to distinguish between ticks, nasal worm, blowfly, lice, and mites. In this case, we will look at it in the terms of the life cycle. And then you, we must also be able to explain the financial implications and the detrimental effects of external parasite. We will look at this one after we are done with all this, <clears throat> with all this life cycle. Then we must also look at the preventative and or control measures. In this case, at the end, I will also try to, to guide you on how to answer a question. There's a question that will say, name treatment, ways of treatment. Another one will say, name management, ways of managing. The, the, the answers for those questions are different. I will try to, to, to explain that one. So we, we, we will look at this thoroughly and see how we, uh, how we can score marks we will also look at symptoms of all these external external parasite and also focus on treatment okay fine let, let, let's start with this one when we look at external parasites remember we said external parasite are those parasites that will focus on the skin that will feed on the skin of the animal and they will suck the blood or from that animal so we say they do what they feed on the skin and when they feed on the skin they then suck the blood of that animal and we say another name that we can give them we can say it's ectoparasite this one is it's very easy we try to explain to explain it to define it earlier on then we divide them into two we we say the external parasite we have external parasite that are that we say they are insects we also have others that we say they are arachnids. It's very important to know what is the difference. The difference is simple. The insects, they have six legs, while the arachnids, they have eight legs. Then we have two of them. We have the flies, such as the blowfly, the blowfly and the nasal worm. They fall under the insects because they have six legs. The lice also falls under the insects. Then we have arachnids arachnids we have ticks we also have mites we will look at these and check as we move along with the their life cycle then here i've just listed the external parasite we have ticks we have nasal worm the blowfly the lice together with the mites it's simple here what what we will do what i want you to master here are the life cycle of this parasites you must know the life cycle of ticks you must know the life cycle of nasal worm or fly lies together with the the mites it's very important to know all those life cycle of the animal and there are few things that i will focus on per per each parasite i will focus on as i move along as i move along so you know the life cycle you know the symptoms together with the treatment if you can master it in that way those three things are very important but then we will start with the ticks we will start with the ticks let's start with the ticks the ticks we say there are two families of ticks we have hard ticks we also have soft ticks so it's very important to know the differences that we have two the the the, the soft ticks we we say they are covered by a soft leathery cuticle while the hard ticks, they are covered by a hard leathery cuticle. While the, the, the soft ticks, they, 
the, their mouth parts are on the other side, underside of, of the tick. They are very fast and they blow like balloon, like a balloon when they suck the blood from the, from the animal. So it's very important to know this one. Let's get to, to the most important part. All parts are important, but let's get to the most pivotal part. Let's look at the ticks. What I want you to understand about ticks, people, is that ticks, they are divided into their life cycle. What do we mean when we say ticks are divided into their life cycle? People, we say here, there are ticks that have only one host. There are ticks that need two hosts and there are ticks that need three hosts. So if we say ticks are divided into their life cycle, we divide them into three. Gunama ticks are dinga e host A1 to complete their life cycle. Gunama ticks are dinga ama host A2 to complete their life cycle. Gunama ticks are dinga ama host A3 to complete their life cycle. So those ticks that need one host to complete their life cycle. We, we say an example of them is blue tick. But in your exam, what they will do? They will give you a cycle, a life cycle. Then they will ask you, they say classify the parasite or classify the tick based on its life cycle. What do you have to take note there? Look at the number of hosts. If you only see one host in that cycle, it means... When we classify that parasite based on its life cycle, we will say it's a one host, one host life cycle. We call it a penelganje. You say it's a one host life cycle. That you say that if and only if that parasite in a host a one. But if they give you and say, what is classify the parasite based? Take note of the last part of the question. Based on each life cycle, you look at the number of, of hosts. If there are two, you say it's a two-host life cycle. Same applies even when there are three. Then what they will say, it's very important for you to also know the example of a one-host life cycle, example of a two-host life cycle, and then example of a three-host life cycle. For a one-host life cycle, it's a blue tick. For two horse life cycle, it's a red leg or a brown ear. For a three horse life cycle, it's a bond tick. Please make sure that you master it. In this case, you can have three marks for this one. Identify, classify the parasite. We are sure it's an external. You come again, you say, classify the parasite based on its life cycle. We are sure it's a one horse life cycle. Name of the parasite. We are sure it's a blue tick. They, they may also say, why you say it's a one host? Get, get this question. Why it's a life it's a it's a one host life cycle. We say it's a one host life cycle, people, because it requires only one host to complete its life cycle. Why it's a two-horse parasite? It's because it requires two hosts to complete its life cycle. Why we say it's a three-horse parasite? We say it's a three-horse parasite because it requires three hosts to complete its life cycle. We will look at this life cycle as we move along. Okay, fine. Let's start with, the. let me just brief you on the the general life cycle, you know, as he big in terms of one horse, three horse, or two horse. We just look at the general life cycle of a, of, 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 of a tick. What will happen is that we will have a tick and the eggs will hatch. When the egg hatch, they will hatch into a six-legged larva. 
and then that six lake lava will develop and develop up until it form it develops into an eight legged nymph then the nymph will develop to an adult then the adult then the adult will feed on the animal and also lay eggs and then the eggs again will hatch and hatch and hatch what i want you to note from this slide are the stages there are four stages there are four stages of ticks one eggs two lava three nymph four adult why i bring forth this information is that in your exam sometimes they will say name three stages name two stages of tick or, or, or in the life cycle of a tick it's simple you will say eggs, larva, nymph, and the adult. Towards the end of this, inform of this session, when we talk about external parasites, I will give you an easy way of cramming the stages. Just to brief you, go on kilama stages. Almost in most of them, eggs is always there. Adult is always there. They may change in the middle, but pupa or what? But eggs and adult is also when they say list three, you know that I have one mark for eggs, I have one mark for adult. But as for the ticks, if eggs, the larva, and the, the, the larva, the nymph together with what? With the adult. Make sure that you recall these stages. Gaso Sonke is cut. Let's move on, people. In this case, I, I, I've given you in a form of what? Sorry. I've given you in a form of... Sorry, I want my marker. I've given you in a form of this one. We said one with eggs. What happens with the eggs? They hatch to form what? A six-legged larva. The six-legged larva will develop to form what? An eight-legged nymph. Then the eight leg nymph will develop to form what? Adult. Then the adult, what it does, it lays eggs. So that is the simplest life cycle that we can check. It's eggs, larva, nymph, and adult. So the cycle continues, continues, continues. Okay, fine. Sorry. Okay, fine. Let's go deeper now and look at the ticks as a whole remember we said ticks are divided into three based on their life cycle there are ticks that we call one host life cycle two host life cycle and three host life cycle on this one i'm only focusing on one host life cycle and an example of a one host life cycle we said it's what it's a blue tick why people we say it's a one horse life cycle. I wanted to highlight this one. We say it's a one horse life cycle because these ticks, they remain in one host during its entire stages. They remain in one host during its entire stages. And what they like the most, they like to attack cattle. They are their main host. And then where, which part of the body of a cattle do they like to attack? Neck. The last bullet, take note of the part that I've underlined. I, I've, I, I, I've changed the color there, making it red. This one horse life cycle, they transmit a disease. We, this is a protozoan disease. It is a disease that will be caused by protozoa. We call it, sorry, we call it a protozoan disease. It's a red water. Two things I want you to understand, or else three. The one horse life cycle, an example of a one horse life cycle, it's a blue tick. Why we say it's a one horse life cycle? It's because they remain in one horse for its entire life cycle. 
which protozoan disease do they transmit? They transmit what? Red water and anaplasmosis. But I don't like to focus on anaplasmosis because anaplasmosis will also be transmitted by what? By the bond tick. But let's understand that it transmits what? The red water. That's what is important. Can I repeat again? It's a one host tick. Its name, blue tick. Which disease does it transmit? Red water. Make sure that you understand that one. Okay, fine. We move on and look at this what it's a, it's, a, it's a life cycle, but in a form of, of a picture. So what they will do in your exam, this is an exam type question. What they will do in your exam, they will give you this life cycle. When they, let's say this information, sorry. Let's say this information is not there. This information is not there. What they will do in your exam, they will give you this cycle. Then they say, classify the parasite. Remember, classify the parasite. There are two answers that you have. You have to choose from one, from one from the two. It's an internal or external. This one, it affects what? The skin. So we say it's external. It's external parasite. Classify the parasite based on its life cycle. What you check here? You check the number of what? In, for, the, for, the, for this information, you check the number of hosts. It's only one host. So we'll say it's a one host life cycle. What is the name? It's what? It's a blue tick. Which, which protozoan disease does it transmit? It's what? It's a red water. So that's what is important for you to understand on this one. That's the simplest thing that they will do in this question. In most of normal symptoms, but for the preventative measures. Let's move on and look at a two-host tick. Two-host ticks, we say it's a two-host because it requires two hosts to complete its life cycle. We have two of them. We have a red leg, red leg, sorry, red leg, and a brown ear tick. Let's look at bullet number one. We say they feed on two hosts during their life. So that's why I said they need two hosts to complete their life cycle. Then two, we say, an example is the red leg and the brown ear. So the first host, it will be the, the larval stage and the nerval stage. Then the second, it will be the other stage. What, which part do they like to attack? They like to attack the anus. They also like to attack the, the ear canal. So they go inside the ear and attack the ear canal. Then you can check that it can also transmit spring lamp para paralysis. In this case, it's simple. Yes, good. It's a two-host life cycle. Remember my examples are corner, right leg, the nanny, the brown ear. Then once you see why we say it's a two host, it's because our stage is all true. Uh, it's because our stage is why our pillar A one and A zero two differently. Let's look at the last one. I'm sorry if I'm so quick. Let's look at the the cycle in a picture. So we have this cycle. It's simple. Bagbuza uktenda ugote classify the parasite utwenaini. The external. By Abuya, classify the parasite based on what? On its life cycle. Ubala in Nalapo Ama host. One, two. So it's a what? It's a two host life cycle. Provide the name. You can say brown ear or else Utini, Uti red leg. It's simple like that. Let's quickly look at this one. We have three host ticks. Three host, an example of a three host is what? It's a bond tick. Why we say it's a three host tick? It's because it requires three hosts to complete its life cycle. I hope you master this one. So you can recall the stages. We have the eggs, the larva, the nymph, and other. Okay, fine. which part of the body do they like? They like to attack the hairless parts. And they can all go to the anus, they can go to the armpits because the anus and the armpits, they don't have much hair, so we call them the hairless parts. Okay, fine. Take note of this part. Which protozoan disease do they like to or do they transmit? It's what? It's a 
heart water so they transmit heart water hence we call them what a vector what is a vector a vector it is an organism that transmit diseases it couldn't transmit diseases from one from one organism to another organism but we say a vector it's a disease it's a disease so a vector it's an organism that transmit diseases a pathogen it's an organism that causes a disease okay fine. so here it's a three host tick an example of a three host tick bond tick which protozoan disease doesn't transmit it's a hot water that's the simplest part about this slide or well, that's the important part let's look at it so here this is called let's see in the ebay one so here you have how many ticks how many hosts it's one it's two it's three so what is these ticks you say it's a three host sorry you say it's what it's a three host ticks as i've written there and then an example is what is a bone tick then buzz of buzz of which, which disease doesn't transmit you will say in transmit what and transmit a hot water disease so it, it, it's simple it's simple let's quickly look at the symptoms i'm a symptoms one we have weight loss we have anaemia which is anemia we all we also say the quality of meat is reduced the quality and quantity of meat is reduced so we can say loss in meat sorry sorry my, my, uh, please take note of my spelling here it's incorrect i was supposed to i was supposed to say meat i was supposed to say meat m e a t sorry for that one sorry so we have three of them here we have what we have the weight loss we have anaemia we also have quality of meat is reduced so it's very important for you to to take note of this one then we can also move on and say it damages the teeth because of their long mouth part they say ama ticks they are the most dangerous external parasite ticks are the most dangerous external parasite and once they damages the teeth sorry once they damages the teeth it means even the milk production will also be damaged or also be reduced then they also cause irritation and itching that's why you told us to an is not a silo see trying to scratch itself because it's what gallum and this irritation and what and itching so it's simple on this one weight loss anemia quality of meat is reduced that's the simplest part about this one okay fine let's look at at, at, at what at the treatment it's simple it's an external parasite ne? so what you can do you can spray the animal with acaricides you can remove ticks by shearing we will talk about shearing when we when we, when we get time but in terms of uh, in terms of 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 the sheep it's whereby you are removing you, you are removing what the wool of the sheep you are cutting off the wool of the sheep then we also have you can also dip with the animal so it's spraying removing the ticks by shearing dipping and then injecting the animal with what with ivomec injecting the animal with ivomec so that is the simplest part of this one let's try to provide a summary using this one we are focusing on ticks we say i'm a ticks Kukona amatix ane host a yoto. Kukona amatix anama host out two. Kukona amatix anama host out three. Then sitenti, we said, equation of kana is what classify. I want you to master this question. Classify this summary. Classify the parasite. Umabati classify the parasite. Ushawoti internal no my external. Lawa gamma external parasite they affect what the skin they also suck what blood from the animal hence they cause what anemia then they will say classify the they will say classify the parasite 
based on its life cycle. When they say classify the parasite based on its life cycle, there are two guidelines here that you can check. One, look at the number. Look at the number of what? Of, of host. The number of animals that are affected by the animal. When you look at this one, a scaling of blue tick. If you pegu blue tick, one host a one. If you can count here, you will also say, you only say one. Ogu shukti nige slobo sam. If blue tick, ine host a one angit. So si zoti yini, it's a one host life cycle. As we espege, it brown ear tick. Nani ne red leg tick. Lanas bona ama 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 hosta manga One, two. What does that mean? It means they have how many hosts? They have two hosts. Then sixteen, you know, we say it's a two host life cycle. I hope you get it. We are just counting the number of hosts. On this one, it's one. Two, three. It means it's a three. Ulpalalia pelela slobosam. It's a three host life cycle. When you write it, life cycle. When you write it, ulpalia pelela. So that is the first method of identifying the life cycle of the animal. What am I saying? The question is saying classify the animal. The, the, sorry, classify the parasite based on its life cycle what do you do you count the number of hosts if you see one it's a one host if you see two two hosts if you see three three hosts another strategy still the question says classify the parasite based on its life cycle what i want you to do it's a cycle ne? so Sometimes it will be divided in pies. In pies, when you look at this cycle, you see that this cycle is not divided. It's just one cycle. It's not divided. So it means here the animal, sorry, the parasite, will spend its whole life. You will spend its life on one host. Hence, we say. It's a one host parasite. What are we using now? The pies. It's a cycle. How many pies do you see here? You see this side. You also see this side. So how many pies do you see? Two. So meaning it's a two host life cycle. I hope you get this one clear. Let's look at this one. The bone tick. How many pies do you see here? You see this one. You see this one which makes them two. You also see this one which makes them three. So what does that mean? It means we have how many? We have one, two, three. So we'll say it's a three host life cycle. So that's the simplest way of identifying them, of classifying them based on their life cycle. So once you understand that this is a one host life cycle, this is a two host life cycle, this is a three host life cycle. What else to note? The question they may ask you, name the stages. When they say name the stages, you look at them here. You say, okay, fine. You know that eggs will be there. Adults will, be, will always be there. So you know that you have what? You have eggs. You have what? You have lava. Then the lava will go to nymph. Then the nymph go to what? To an adult. So sometimes, lama stages, you can take them from the cycle. Or else you know them by your head. If they, they have given you a cycle, you will take them from the cycle. Let's look at number two. Two horse life cycle. You have eggs here. You have lava here. You have nymph here, you have adult here. So they are just they are here on your life cycle. But in some questions, 
as iganje na ne ngeba kunike i life cycle is iganje maybe it will be a statement or a scenario so when you must know that for ticks you have eggs larva nymph and what and adult same applies to any your your, your bond tick then what they may do again which protozoan disease in is transmitted by blue tick the blue tick will transmit what we said in transmit the red water the bond tick which is a tree host in transmit what the hot water can i give you this is way of cramming it if blue tick we are using what in a camel is it's a blue tick this is one bond tick let me just ignore that it's a blue tick if blue tick is low some is on transmitter let disease in a camel car you take in a camel car and transmit a disease in any in a camel car who should team blue tick transmit red water blue red blue red blue tick transmit red water then so yes good it means a bond tick is on transmitter any a hot water that is the simplest part of it then they will ask you about the symptoms we ask you to have weight loss drop and meat quality we also have anemia we also have irritation and itching of of, of, of the of the skin that is simply the simplest part then we have how can we control it we say how can we control it we we know that we we can spray the animal we can deep the animal we can remove the ticks through what through through shearing so that is the simplest part of it so make sure that you understand it in that way i'm sorry to 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 take it long i know that you will take time in downloading it in downloading it but please make sure that you you, you look at it then when we meet we will look at nasal worm we'll look at the life cycle of a nasal worm so they are the rest as a rather short because one as what divide in terms of their life cycle thank you people thank you watch it several times watch it several times up until you understand everything thank you thank you so let's say here